It was it was pretty scary. Bandages wrap around both of Sasha Fleischman's legs to cover the second and third degree burns Sasha now has from the November attack. After three surgeries, it hurts a little to walk. Sasha will eventually have to wear compression leggings to help with healing. There is so much love and support surrounding Sasha, something the family is extremely grateful for. A banner with get well messages covers the walls of the Fleischmann home. And when I was in the hospital every day, my parents would visit and bring a stack of cards this high and, and most of them from just total strangers. And it, it was just really neat just knowing that like they're total strangers who are like, we care about you. Sasha has no plans to ride the bus alone ever again. The teen's confidence in being a gender has not suffered. If anything, the attack has made Sasha stronger. I'm, I'm going to keep wearing a skirt. That's something that I'm not going to give up. <laughs> the Fleischmann family now tries to get back to normal, reestablishing a routine that includes changing Sasha's bandages every morning. As for Sasha's attacker, investigators say the 16-year-old told them he set Sasha on fire because he's homophobic. It was a really dumb thing he did, and I mean, I think, I, I, I think that you should really know better that to, than to light someone's clothing on fire. I, mean, I think you should be able to realize that that's not just a funny prank. The 16-year-old charged with setting Sasha Fleischman on fire is Richard Thomas. He is charged as an adult with mayhem, assault, and hate crimes. Sasha and Sasha's parents want to see him tried as a juvenile. In the newsroom, I'm Justine Waldman, Cron4 News.